I am a top online fitness trainer, voted best trainer in 2019 by Women's uh, Fitness Magazine. And I'm a mom of two little ones. I have a podcast, kind of do all the things, but my passion really is helping women short on time, get fit, lose the last 10 to 20 pounds that they are struggling to lose, tighten their tummies and really just regain their confidence and learn to love the bodies that they are in. So welcome, I am so grateful you are here. Today we are going to be doing an upper body workout with a focus on our chest and our back. So like always, like all of my workouts, they are quick, they are intense and they are fun. Um, we are doing two, four, six, eight exercises. Each exercise is gonna be 30 seconds long. You are going to complete all eight back to back. When you get to the end of those eight exercises, that one circuit, then you're going to take a rest between 45 to 60 seconds. I'm gonna take you through the first circuit. If you are new to working out or if you have been working out for a while, that's totally okay. These workouts are for everybody. I will offer modifications as we go. Um, and when you get to the end of the first circuit, if you feel like you need a little bit more, please by all means feel free to add another circuit, two or even three. If you loved this workout, like I said, please make sure to subscribe. You can find me also on social media at Kathy Vandermeer. Make sure you shoot me a DM, tell me what your favorite workout has been so far, what videos you would like me to make. I do these for you to help you. So um, I am always open to suggestions on what to film next. So let's get into this. I have my workout or my dumbbells and I've got my timer, so we are good to go. We are going to start with a squat single arm press. So we're gonna do 30 seconds right side, 30 seconds left. You're gonna need just one dumbbell. You're gonna start with your feet um, about hip width apart, taking that regular squat stance. You wanna keep your core nice and tight. In that squat stance, if you find that your booty is kind of sticking out a bit more and you have that arch in your back, tighten that core, draw your belly button into your spine, but also tuck your tailbone a bit more. So it's gonna engage your core, you're gonna engage your glutes a bit more, and you're gonna protect that lower back. So you're gonna squat down, you're gonna have a hammer hold with your dumbbell, so that means your palm is going to be facing your face. Squat down, you can have your other arm out for balance, pushing up through your heels, you're gonna press that dumbbell. So I'm gonna start the timer and we will go. We're gonna do 30 seconds on the right side. So here, pushing up through your heels, making sure your knee doesn't go past your toes. Exhale, press, squeezing your booty. Come back down. Good, keep it going. I'm gonna go this way. Inhale, exhale, up. 10 to go. Try and keep those eyes looking forward. Three, two, one more. And we're gonna switch arms. Still squatting, making sure those knees don't collapse in. We wanna push them out. Pushing through our heels, feeling our glutes engage. You're halfway. And breathe. 10. Keep it going. We're going into a bench over fly next in three, two, grab those dumbbells, hinging at your hips. Your palms are gonna face each other with your arms down below. Exhale, you're gonna raise them up. Pause at the top of that movement for one second. Contract your shoulder blades, feel that right in the back. Here, 10 to go. Five, four, three, 
two, one more. Shake it out. You're gonna hinge at your hips next and we're gonna do a face pull. So we're gonna go here and we're pulling our dumbbells up to our chin, okay? Getting those elbows up, it's kind of an awkward move. But it's gonna work right back here. Give you nice, firm base. Five, four, three, two, rolling over, well, laying on the floor, on your back. I'm just gonna pause this for a second. On your back, so I can demonstrate this. You wanna make sure that your core is nice and tight, your back stays nice and flat. If you find that you're arching, it's gonna take away all of that tension in your core and it's gonna put pressure on your lower back and that's not good. So you wanna go here and we're gonna do a fly. So the palms are gonna face each other, single leg, okay? We're gonna do, what are we doing here? 30 seconds fly. So you're gonna go up in that bridge and you're gonna hold it and you're gonna pull those dumbbells apart. Exhale, bring them back together. Hold that bridge for 30 seconds. We're gonna switch legs when we go into our next exercise. So the clock is ticking. You wanna make sure that you're pushing up through that heel. You'll find through my workouts, I say we're doing, we're working one body part. You got five seconds, but a lot of my exercises are combos. Switch legs, we're going into a press. So rotate your palms out. And that's because well, I really don't like working out for a long period of time. So we make the most of our time, really getting our entire body firing, our metabolism kick-started, getting that heart rate up. Exhale, pushing up through those palms, squeezing at the top, making sure your lower body is engaged. Three, two, last one. We're gonna come up. We're gonna go into a single arm fly and row. So here, your arm's gonna be dangling down in front of you, palm facing your center line. You're gonna fly, exhale, row. You're gonna pull that dumbbell up to your rib cage and making sure that elbow is back. Opening it into fly and row. Eight seconds. Three, two, other arm. Again, fly, exhale, row. You'll notice at the end of just the first circuit, your heart rate is racing. You're probably out of breath. That's good. 10 seconds. That means you're working, you're getting your body outside of your comfort zone. You're doing something that you probably have never done before. Three, Two, last one, which means that you're going to get results fast. That is our workout for today. Like I said, if you feel like you need another one or two rounds of that circuit, by all means, please add it. Come find me on Instagram or Facebook at Kathy Vandermeer. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our videos. We put out new workout videos every Wednesday. I love you and I will see you next time.